What's up badminton fam, it's Jeff and Henry here. We're, we're back again and we're looking at the Yonex Astrox 77 Pro. Professional. A gentle reminder that we assess rackets on four main metrics with a score out of 10 for each. They are feeling and handling, control, power and speed. The head heavy Astrox 77 Pro is a step up from the OG Astrox 77, which we reviewed quite some time ago now, and you can check it out over here. From what we can tell, this model has gone from using a blend of high modulus graphite, nanometric, tungsten, to high modulus graphite and their relatively new NAMD graphite. It also differs from the Astrox 77 by having the Energy Boost Cap Plus that enhances rapid snapback to generate even more power. Most of what you get out of the OG Astrox 77 is present too in the isometric frame shape, aero and box frame, rotational generator system and super slim shaft. There's features. Mm, lots of them. It is designed for players who are looking to produce steep smashes with a combination of key technologies including the NAMD graphite and the rotational generator system. We tested the 4U or 83 gram version strung with Xbox 65 strings at 28 pounds. Bing! So what did we think about it? Well, it feels pretty good through the air, which is pretty stock standard though for a high-end Yonex racket. But you can definitely feel it's on the stiffer side and that it is head heavy when you're swinging it. Mm. Because of how stiff it is, it's not that forgiving, so control isn't bad, but not that great either. Although the feeling of the shuttle and the contact is hard, we'd say that out of all the hard and stiff rackets we've tested, this one is near the top. Yeah, it's not too bad for a stiff one. Yeah. Mm. The power was a real plus for this racket. We found it naturally generates quite a bit of power, especially when you had enough time to get some momentum behind the shuttle. Yeah, I second that because when I wasn't able to get behind the shuttle fast enough to mm. generate that momentum, it was quite difficult to generate power. Yeah, mm. that's fair enough. But speed wise, head heavy racket, so it's not gonna be the fastest, right? Mm. Um, but you can generate some pretty good speed in your drives as long as you get your racket there in time and behind the shuttle. Mm. And for looks, well, I'm not really a fan, but uh, it looks similar to your orange OG 77. Yeah, kind of the it's asymmetrical orange on one side and mm. not so orange on the other side. Yeah. So now for our ratings, for feeling and handling, seven and a half out of 10. For control, a seven and a half out of 10 too. For power, nine out of 10. And for speed, a seven out of 10. So that gives us 31 out of 40 in total. And compared to the OG Astrox 77, we gave that 31 and a half out of 40. So it's pretty similar, 0.5 mm. difference. Yeah. I was actually a little bit disappointed though. Like I quite liked the 77, the original 77, but this mm. one, the Pro, I thought it'd be better. Maybe it was already quite pretty up there good already. Yeah. already yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, who's it for, right? We'd say it's for more of an advanced player with a preference for the rear court in doubles or a singles attacking player. So if you win most of your rallies with your smash or your attack, then this one could be for you, especially if you like hard and stiffer feeling rackets overall. But do bear in mind that you'd want to be a pretty stable player with good control and technique too, because it's not that forgiving. Yeah. And for those front court doubles players, just look elsewhere. Not the best. No. So, how much are we talking? This one will set you back around 250 AUD. And based on this and how it plays, would we try, buy, or deny? We think deny if you already own the OG 77, mm. uh, because this one isn't much improvement at all. No, but try if you don't have the OG version and you like stiff head heavy rackets and of course if you're a consistent stable player. But. If you want to spend way less and you need a powerful racket that's way more forgiving, easier to control, then you really do need to check out this. This is the Volant Havoc S1. So you can check it out up here and the link to the website is in the description below too. So thank you for tuning in to this one. If you haven't liked this video yet, now's the time to smash that like button, subscribe and stay notified by pinging on that bell. Later. Bye.